welcome back to the Russell Show. In this episode, just two little bits of information for you. One about the Hardy Boys and some information about Rusev. So let's get right into it. It'll be a pretty short video because there's not a lot of information going out as of right now from what I'm finding. But first off, Rusev will apparently make his return either this week or next week um, on SmackDown. It'll be either this week or next week, most likely um, next week um, when he returns, but it, you never know. But it's likely either tonight or tomorrow he'll return um, to SmackDown. Even though he's had a, that one video where he said he wouldn't um, return unless he got a shot at a title. And of course it's coming off of injury, so who knows. But supposedly he'll be back next week. And then the last little bit of information I have is about Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy and the broken gimmick and everything. Uh, according to Matt Hardy... Um, Impact Wrestling is lying when they say that they applied for the um, trademarks on the Broken Gimmick before the Hardys. They're claiming um, that they that they applied for the, um, the trademark in January when the website for the trademark office says they were not uh, that Impact Wrestling didn't apply for them until April, and the Hardys apparently applied for them back in March. So, that said, who knows what's going on there. You never know who's telling the real truth, really. You never know if the maybe they the website's wrong or they're just lying. You never know. I just hope one way or another it gets taken care of. It was a very interesting gimmick from what I saw of it in TNA, and I thought it would really be an interesting thing for us to have in the WWE as a WWE fan and one who really doesn't care much for the TNA product all that much. I just thought it was a very interesting gimmick. It'd be great to see, you know, for the WWE fans to see. And it looked like we were heading that way and claiming that, you know, with a lot of sites claiming that the Hardys and the WWE and Impact Wrestling had worked it, were working it all out, had an agreement and all, all that and, and thing. We even reported it here. But apparently that is not the case or else they wouldn't be fighting over the trademark. They would be discussing terms of an agreement. But that said, that's all I really got for you. I've been a little sick today, so uh, I'm going to give you another upload tomorrow. And I'll just aim for trying to get you an upload every day this week. Alrighty, you have a great day.